So when we create a five number summary, it can be useful to create a graphical representation of that information. And so earlier we calculated that uh, from a set of female heights, we had a five number summary that looked like this. And we're going to create something called a box plot. So a box plot is, again, a graphical representation of the five number summary. So we're going to start by creating a number line. Now this should be a honest to god number line, evenly spaced. We, it needs to range from 59 up to 72. And so I'm going to go ahead and start it at, uh, 55, uh, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, and let's see here, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so there is my number line, uh, which is going to let me show my heights, uh, which are measured in inches. Uh, and now we're going to construct our box plot. So the idea is at each of these values, I'm going to draw a vertical line. So I'm going to draw a vertical line at 59, at 62, at 66, and at 69, and at 72. Okay? Now I'm going to create a box ranging from quartile 1 to quartile 3. Uh, so starting here at 62, uh, up to 69, with 66 in the middle. You don't necessarily have to label those values, but can come in handy. So this is why it's called a box plot, is because it has this box in the middle of it. Uh, and then, uh, we extend lines out from the box to the minimum and the maximum. Uh, sometimes this is called a bo box and whiskers plot because we have a box and then we have these sort of whiskers coming out on either side. Uh, in this case, going down to 59 and 72. Now, there are different types of box plots that are out there. Sometimes they, they, they won't actually extend all the way to the maximum or minimum, but, uh, in the type that we're going to do, uh, look at, they do. And so there is our box plot. Uh, by the way, sometimes this here is called the interquartile range, uh, the, the values that are contained within the box there. Uh, but that's, that's not too important. Let's create one more. So here was the data from our, from our income, uh, data. And let's create a box plot here. So once again, we're going to create a number line. Uh, needs to range up to 50 from 15. So maybe I'll start here at 15. Uh, and, uh, maybe I'll just create every five here. So, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That should work. Uh, so there is our number line, uh, and these are going to be incomes. And so we are going to uh, and I'm going to do a slightly different approach this time. I'm going to draw a box from my quartile 1 to my quartile 3. So there's my quartile 3. Quartile 1 is here, halfway between 25 and 30. And there's a box representing my, uh, from quartile 1 to quartile 3. And now I'm going to draw in a line at the median, and then extend my whiskers out to the maximum and down to the minimum. And there is a box plot for our income, uh, data five number summary.